Hello YouTube viewers, Dennis here with MarksvilleMe.com with another wonderful review item. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the Orjo Coffee Manual uh, Coffee Grinder. Uh, and to adequately review this item, I felt it necessary to explain all the different parts that this, uh, this uh, coffee grinder is comprised of. That way if you're interested in it, you can check with the, the link in the description below. And uh, um, if you get one for yourself, you uh, know pretty much how to do everything by the parts as I'm showing them to you. Uh, pretty much right here we got your coffee bean uh, storage area. You got the jar that your coffee grinds will go into. Uh, right here we have uh, a, like a silicone lid. Uh, when you're grinding your beans, uh, sometimes the beans will have a tendency to shoot out. This helps keep it in there so you're not you know chasing beans around your house. Um, you also have a lid that will go onto your um, the, the area which stores your coffee grounds so that way um, when you fill it right up to the top you can put it right on top there and store it up in your cabinet. Um, the actual inner, inner workings of the device is uh, with this item here it's called the burr it makes contact here on the bottom simply goes in the center of the unit. A real key uh, item with this uh, assembly is there's this little washer that's going to go on next and then this is your um, your grind adjustment nut, and that's just going to go right on there and screw. I what what I do is I screw it all the way down to the bottom so that it's flush, and I know that that's the finest grind that you can get. Um, and I backed it off just about an eighth of a turn, and that's where you get this particular grade of coffee grind, which is you know a fine a fine grind. Um, this, this next grind here that you see is more of a really coarse grind. For that I did I just kind of like spun it a few times around and you'll see it's got a little more sloppiness to it uh, and then you know you're at about that uh, coarse level. You can even do it even more of a coarse level. Um, the first time playing around and experimenting with this, uh, it looked like it just barely, barely touched any of the beans. Um, so I don't think that was really beneficial. I, you know, you want to ground, ground up a bit to actually uh, um, when it's when it's brewing with your coffee, you know it actually brews something. If, if it's just a solid bean, it's not going to get all that flavor out. It's going to still be trapped in the actual bean. So as I said, uh, I shut it all the way down, back it up about a quarter of a turn. Uh, then you got this here. This item here is called the stopper. All right, it's got a special shaped top there. It only fits on one of two ways, and what that does is it kind of locks the the um adjustment screw into one position and you see it just sits right on there like that then we got your handle and your locking screw and again the handle has that same similar uh, shape that the other uh, the, um, the stopper has on it and so it only goes on one way and you just put it on there and then just tighten it right down that's pretty much the, the assembled unit right there uh, you can put this on before or after, it's really up to you. Uh, I'd like to pour the beans in and then I slip it up over the handle. It's real simple. It's actually the same exact size. And it fits on there nice and snug. It is silicone so um, it makes it nice and easy to work on it. Then the glass base just screws right onto it. And if you notice the glass base has a nice silicone bottom also. So that way you get a nice anti-slip on your countertops or your table. Um, and again, like I said, the lid here is really nice, so when you're done, you can just put a top on it and put it up in your cabinet. Um, but we got our coffee in there, just to show it. Um, the, the one thing that you got to make sure you always do is you always go in a clockwise motion. Um, yeah, the locking screw is, is counterclockwise. Um, so, and you kind of remember that by the way the handle is. And you just sit there and just hold it firmly and turn it around and around it's in the direction that a clock would spin so that would be going towards your right as you're cranking it and um, the more fine the, the um, grind the more smooth it'll feel as it's as you're uh, grinding it um, and this is obviously a manual one so it does take a little bit more time than uh, the electric ones that might be on the market but with this, you know, you're not, uh, you know, wasting batteries or beefing up your electric bill. Not that it would be a significant amount of energy loss, but, um, you know, you can, it's all, everything's all natural. You get a, a completely uh, um, 
satisfaction of, of, of the full full body flavor that you're going to get from your coffee. Um, again, with the fine grit, it does take a lot more time to grind. Um, I'm probably, I'm not that far down through here, but let's show you what we got so you can see how great the product works. So you see, that's actually a little bit more fine than what I did earlier. Um, as I said, if you, if you, you know, we're done filling it up, just put your top on there, put your coffee in the cabinet. Um, it also comes with two nice little uh, pink and green spoons. Uh, it's got great for stirring the coffee. Um, they also it's a it's a good amount of uh, good for measuring the amount of coffee you might need for your uh, for each cup that you're going to make. A uh, nice heaping spoon on there is roughly about the amount that you're going to need per cup. Uh, and most cups are on average six ounces. So um, if you have any. Uh, um, interest in this item check out the link in the description below um and i thank you for taking the time to stop by here at marksville and me uh please has, uh please subscribe and like and as always thank you and have a wonderful afternoon thank you bye